Hi everybody and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to be talking about mega assemblies. We're going to talk about what they are and then we're going to go into how to build them from scratch. Now, before we get started, remember there's all that good stuff for YouTube, like liking, uh, leaving a comment really helps with the engagement. If you can, there's a Patreon, really helps out the channel and you can join the Discord and follow me on Twitter. Now, let's get on to the video. Okay, first we need to talk about what are mega assemblies and for that I'm going to take you to the Valley of the Ancients map. Now I'm not going to open the Valley of the Ancients level because it takes a while and it's going to explode with these two instances of Unreal open. But I can show you this map which actually have has all the mega assemblies laid out for you so you can just see them all. So you, let me change camera speed. And you can see all the mega assemblies are laid down here. If you have seen my previous Kid Bash video, uh, this actually is a great level to get started build, building a whole big level if you want with all these mega assemblies that you have them laid out right here. You don't have to look for them on any folder or anything else. You just grab them and uh, you're good to go. Now, uh, let's get to what they are. So if you look here, uh, mega assemblies are a group of mega scans that Quixel has put together in order to create a much larger asset, if you will. So if you look over here, you see that there is a mass group that's just a name, but this is actually behaving as blueprint. So if we open this edit mass, it's going to take us to this whole asset and how it's broken down. All right, so once you click there, you, all you have to do is go into viewport and over here, you can actually select all the assets that this is comprised of. This is made of various meshes, and some of them are just the same mesh repeated over and over and positioned in a place that is uh, really good for creating this kind of piece. So you can access all of the instances here, and you can access the material here, and all that good stuff. So you have various mega assemblies around here that you can play with and actually this is a very good way to build level with tons of geometry without having to place each one like little things so you can grab one of these this actually encompasses a big space if you were to place a cube so if you were to place a cube you can see that this is much bigger than just using one mega scan at a time. So this will save you time. Just build one of these, or you just grab one of these and put them all together and you can build a much larger level without having to spend all that time setting up one mega scan by another. I know this Valley of the Ancient Maps is super heavy and not everyone's been able to access this one. So I'm going to show you how to build these mega assemblies and you're gonna see it's really easy. Now we're going to go back to our map. I'm actually going to close out of this one so things don't crash. And here we are. So this map took me about 15 minutes to make just because it's pretty much a couple of mega assemblies and some mega scans put together. I am using landscape. Uh, we're going to talk about how we're going to be using landscape in a real engine 5 early access while we wait for the release version, which should contain a solution for the displacement part, which is one of the things that makes uh, landscape not so useful right now. But there is a way to use landscape with all the assets to create a nice looking terrain. And we're going to look at that in a coming video. So make sure you're subscribed for that. Now, as you can see from these, if I click on them, this is just one mega assembly that I created. I created this with the uh, some of the Icelandic assets and also I don't know why I just like the Icelandic ones. They just look beautiful and uh, I'm going to show you how to make one of these. OK, so let's get started with building one of these mega assemblies. And for that, we're just going to be building a new level. And I and I know it, it sounds weird, but that's just how it is. So we're going to go into a new empty level. Oh, I'm not going to save. All right, here we are in our new level, and I'm going to start building something with this asset that I have pulled up right here. Remember, when you get your assets from Quixel, I highly recommend that you use the Nanite version for the highest quality. So I'm just going to start getting assets out here, and I'm going to start building something. Let's say 
like this and you can intersect them they actually look pretty good intersect one another uh, you can also transform mirror in the y and do this so i'm just going to build one real quick um i'm going to time lapse it and i'll be right back Okay, so we are done with this one. Again, just simple one to show you how you create it. We're gonna go back to our world outliner. We're gonna select them all, and we're going to right click. You can right click here, or you can right click here. It's the same. And you're gonna create this level instance. It says create from selection. So pretty much you're gonna create a level instance. So there you go. You're gonna get this little window right here, and you're going to choose packed level instance blueprint because that way it'll be here in your content browser you can migrate it to other projects and you can reuse it however many times you want and it'll be there forever the other good thing about this is the pivot type so right now it says pivot center minimum z so it's going to try to center it as well as it can there's another call center and the one that i personally want to use and i like to use when creating the mega assemblies is the choose actor and i'm going to show you why in a second what i'm going to do is i'm going to place an empty so we have an empty actor right here and i'm going to place him let me go to the top let me place him roughly around here go back to perspective and let's say i want to place him a little bit uh underneath the surface leave it there so I go back to my world outliner i get everything right click create from selection instance blueprint and now what i'm going to do is actor and i'm going to select my empty actor this way the pivot will always stay where my empty actor is and you can move that empty actor to wherever you want and that way you can move the pivot of your mega assembly super easy so i'm going to click ok and it's going to give me this window, I already have a folder. I suggest you make a folder for this because it makes a ton of stuff. It makes a level, it makes a blueprint, and it makes an instance too. So uh, you're gonna have a ton of stuff on your content browser if you do not um, put this in a folder. Now I'm going to call this tutorial Assem mega assembly. I'm gonna save. Now, as you can see, it inherits the name and it adds the BPP as blueprint. So I'm just going to say save here in the blueprint where I also have my other mega assemblies. And it asks you to save the level. So I'm just going to go back to where the mega assemblies are and I'm going to save this as level 01 and I'm going to save it here. Okay. That way I have everything grouped uh, in, in a very specific place and everything is easier to reach. So as you can see, all of the assets that I had here, they went away and now I have one single asset, which is this one and the pivot. I don't know if you remember, you can rewind the video that was here is now here where my empty actor was. And you can just move this around wherever you want and it's one huge mega assembly. All right, and once you make your mega assembly, all you have to do is bring it over. So we can just go into my mega assembly folder, my blueprint folder, and we're just going to throw in this one right here that I just make, uh, which is pretty much very similar to the one that I already had. It's just, I think this one has a lot more surface. So we can just post it around my landscape right here like this. And you can start drag and drop and it's a cool way to build very big level and that's one of the ways that they 
did it on the Bali of the Ancients. All right, everybody, that is it for this video. Uh, let me know what you think about it in the comment section down below. Please leave me a like, really helps out the channel. Remember, there's the Patreon, there's the Twitter. Um, follow us on our Discord server so you can get help from our amazing community. And um, I'll see you in the next video.